I'll videotape her. Right now, she, yeah, you should go. Yeah, you should go. Because you just killed your boyfriend. Yeah, you did. Yeah, and you, yeah. Yeah, okay, cool. Hello and welcome to another day in paradise and welcome to another edition of the unapologetic Negropian in today's video. So we have seen quite a bit of fallout between the families of Christian Toby Obo Saini and his ex-girlfriend Courtney Taylor who has not been charged yet for the red rum of her boyfriend. One of the things that I was watching only today was the Shade Room's own investigation. Yes, this is a shade room investigation so take it with a pinch of salt they had this to say like many domestic crimes involving interracial couples the subject of race has become a part of the public's conversation about this case with a past podcast interview from Clenny and an old social media posts from Obum Selly many people are questioning this entire situation you look like the type of girl that only dates like rich guys is that true no that's not true I only date black guys especially black guys especially black guys. After I heard this comment, I thought to myself, is that true? Do mixed race relationships have a proclivity to have fisticuffs during the relationship and try not to say the V word? Is there more of a chance of a physical activity, things getting physical in a negative way happening in a relationship? Let's just say, let's narrow this down between men of African origin and women of European origin and men of European origin and women of African origin. Are those relationships between those two cultures, races, backgrounds, more susceptible to being more physical, physically, emotionally, and perhaps even psychologically abused? In today's video, I want to speak to you guys a little bit about my own experiences. I want to delve quite deep into this because I, I do want to give my two cents for what it's worth because, you know, I can also give you a frank and honest opinion on this because I think the answer to this question is a lot more complicated than what it may seem. Before we get into it, please like, subscribe, click the bell notification. Please follow us on our Patreon link in the description and please follow the Oversight channel. We're gonna get into this. I truly do believe that there is a chance, I would say even a higher chance, there being some sort of physical, mental, or psychological and emotional within a relationship between men of African origin and women of European origin. But I think that it's also the case when you have relationships between women of African origin and men of European origin. I think women of European origin who live in Europe or live in countries that are predominantly of European descent, I think those women do feel like that they can let go of their inhibitions a bit more and do allow themselves to get carried away physically. They somehow feel like they can let out that in a animal inside them and they feel safe in doing it to their big strong african man because hey he's not going to call the police the police aren't going to believe him and he is not the type of person because how many black men actually call the police on their uh, girlfriends of european origin i i don't know if it ever happens I do believe that women of European origin are also more susceptible to being that way psychologically themselves simply because of the way their family was made up in the first place. So I think that a lot of the women that I have dated, especially the lot of the women that I have dated who were of European descent, I believe that, that, that those women, nearly all of them, had some sort of problem relationship-wise with their fathers, sometimes with their mothers and sometimes both, but mostly with their fathers. And so I think that when you have a woman who has, a European woman who has that relationship problem with their father, I believe that they tend to have some sort 
of trauma or some sort of psychological instability. So I do believe that a lot of the women in Europe or in the United States who are dating men, whose preference is to date men of African origin, whether they be African American or whether they be from the continent itself, I do believe that those women have some sort of uh, problem. It could be emotional, it could be physical, it could be psychological. They tend to have that because of their upbringing and it's mainly because of the problems that those women have had with their father. That is what I have seen in my own, uh, from my own experience. A lot of women of European or origin who have that preference just tend to be that way. Or you can almost speak to them and ask them about the history of their parents and they'll always, always come back with something negative about them, which is really weird. But it goes a long way into answering the question, why would this Courtney Taylor do such a thing? It's perhaps because of combination of different factors. She felt like she could. She felt like she could do it and get away with it. I mean, she went out for a drink with her father afterwards. You know, a couple of days afterwards, she was in the bar. Oh, do you know what? I just need to relax and have a tot. Come on. Who does that? Who would even go out in public? If your boyfriend just passed away in such a horrible way, who would go out in public? I wouldn't. <laughs> you know, I mean... If my partner, no, I couldn't do that. Especially if I was accused of doing what it was Courtney Taylor has been accused of. If I was accused of something like that, you know, I'd be embarrassed. But with her, there was no shame, which shows us that there is perhaps a lack of empathy or um, somewhere she has lost her moral compass. You know, she, she doesn't have one. Maybe she doesn't even have a moral compass there is a good chance that this may be the case. So I do believe that you have to take that into consideration. I do believe that a lot of men of European origin are very, very a-usive, a right? I've got to say it that way, to their partners of African descent. When they date out and they are dating women of African descent, they tend to be a lot more lax and a lot more um, they tend to be a lot more disrespectful because they believe they can push those barriers more with a woman of Caribbean or African origin so I do believe that men of European descent do do it however it's not physical with them it's emotional sometimes but mainly it is psychological it is psychological. There are so many tro Trojan horse relationships out there and it's mainly with men of European origin with women of African origin. If you look at those types of relationships, if you look at the way they sort of insert themselves inside and build a family around there, it's almost in a way so they can really live their lives as <laughs> They can live their lives in this that's what they want it they can live it they can grow up they can be they can live out their fantasies in the in the bedroom they can do that type of thing they can teach their children their mixed race children that you know white is all right you know and that hey you you know nobody asked you to be that color you know really put them down in a way in which they feel like um, they shouldn't even be here you will have European men who will do that. And that is horrible. It is really horrible. Not something I would like to say. I've got plenty of European friends, but this is the truth. So what can I say? So guys, that's what I believe anyway. I'm gonna leave it there. I don't, I don't wanna to go too deep into this, but that's what I believe. What do you think? I'd love to hear from you. Please leave a comment in the comment section below. It'd be good to hear from you. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching. Hello guys, I didn't actually answer the question and I really wanted to answer the question to is dating out inherently dangerous? Honestly, of course it is. I'm going to be honest with you. It is more likely that you are going to get yourself a person if you are going to date somebody of European origin, it's more likely than not 
that that person is going to be physically, mentally, or psychologically disadvantaged, okay? So that's just the way it is. And you need to accept the fact that you are going to have problems. That is not across the board. It doesn't happen with everybody. I'm just saying that it is more likely that you are going to have those problems. Never take people at face value. You need to be able to analyze these people and leave your feelings out of the equation. If you can't do that, guys, you are in. <laughs> if you can't do that, you are in. You are going to be putting your... If you can't do that, you're going to put... You could... If you can't do that, you could put yourself potentially in an untenable position. Until the next time, please think twice to our bit.